Hi, Mrs. Zay. Welcome to SOTT. So when did you start and how long have you been working here? So I worked for Methuen since 2006, but um, I actually started doing this working with kids in 2001. So it's 18 years, that's a pretty long time. What's the favorite part of your job? So I have to say I love working with the kids because I get to interact with them and chat and fool around with them in class. Um, I'm actually right in the classroom setting. I sit in a student desk just like them, so I'm on their level. Um, I talk to them like I'm one of them, and um, I think that's why we get along so well. They know they can come to me and ask me anything they need, and we have a blast. Who is someone you look up to as a role model? So I actually have two people, I, my mom and dad. Um, they taught me everything I know. They taught me how to do the right thing. Doesn't mean I do it all the time, but that's okay. Um, taught me that you have to work hard for what you get um, and just be nice, be kind to people. So um, they're great. They, they've, done, they've worked really hard their whole lives. They were retired teachers, both 35 years, high school. And um, that's it, worth ethic and being a nice person. That's all you need. That's awesome. What's one piece of advice you'd like to give to the students watching? So I'd say to them, try. Don't ever give up when things are overwhelming because that's the easy way and I know it's so hard. And ask for help. Don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed to ask for help. Some people want to help you guys. Some people are, that's what they're there for. They're dying for you to ask them for help and they're dying to help you. Don't let things get away from you too quickly. Like, never stop, never give up. Powerful. What does a day in your life look like? So, pretty boring and uneventful. I'm a mom. So I wake up, get ready for work, get the baby ready, go to work, come home, cook, clean, make lunches, make outfits, tubby time, bath time, bedtime, the whole thing, go to bed, do it all over again. Pretty boring, <laughs> but I love it. What's one of your greatest achievements in life? So I actually have two. They go hand in hand with each other. Um, it was maturing a little bit um, and becoming a mother to my gorgeous baby girl. Um, it changes you because uh, you no longer think of yourself. Uh, you only put this tiny little human being above everything and all. Um, and I'm not perfect and I'm trying to teach her how to, you know, do the right thing and grow up and, you know, be a mom. But I'm proud that I'm trying my hardest to raise her the right way. And I love my little family and I love her. That's my greatest accomplishment. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Austin, for letting us interview you. It was a pleasure and I really enjoyed it. Well, good, I'm glad. I had fun too and I love what you guys are doing and it's a great way to get to know everybody around the building because we're awesome. Thank you. So Christelle, what's your favorite thing about Miss Austin? Um, if I were to choose just one or two, it would be her compassion and her patience. How you doing, Michael? Pretty good, man. How does Miss Austin encourage you to do your best? She encourages and inspires me every day. She pushes me further and I'm very thankful. Why do you appreciate Miss Austin? I appreciate Miss Austin because she helps me with my problems and she helps me do my work in class. What's the biggest lesson Miss Austin has taught you? The biggest lesson Miss Austin has taught me that if you're going to be fresh, at least do it in a sophisticated and kind manner. Also, Miss Austin has taught me how to mix balance between my good side and my evil side. So, thank you, Miss Austin. And today I'm here with... Hi, I'm Mr. Napolitano, Mr. Knapp for short. My first question for you today is how long have you been working here? I've been working at the Tenney for about six years and Methuen about 15. I had started in fifth grade with Mrs. Pardo and Mrs. Pluso and the rest of the fifth grade team who were absolutely amazing. And I still consider Mrs. Pardo and Mrs. Peluso great, great friends. They're always very kind, very caring, and I'm lucky to have been able to work with them. 
what's your favorite thing to teach your students in your class? Uh, I'll be honest, I like doing fun, critical thinking type challenges where students have to build something, have to put a puzzle together, uh, just really exercise their brain in a lot of different ways. Um, it could be challenging, but then they have to do some different teamwork, different problem solving, and kind of do something they haven't really had to do a lot in class, in your regular math class or regular reading class. I also re really enjoy reading out loud stories to the students. I used to do middle school math, but now that I'm in elementary school, I like reading out loud Dr. Seuss books and other type of stories, talking about what the message is, how it connects to their life. So there's a lot you can learn from Green Eggs and Ham or Cat in the Hat, <laughs> stuff like that, so. Tell us something about your life at home. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, with home, it's all about family. And so I have my twin nine-year-old boys and my girlfriend, Lindsay, and. We do everything together, whether it's reading together at night, uh, playing sports or playing Madden or Mario Kart at home. We just do everything and we're, we're really goofy, really loving, and it, it all comes down to family. Family's always the most important thing, so you'll very rarely see me just doing something for myself. It's like always, okay, how can I hang out with this person, that person, or how can we all do things together? So all about family starts and ends with family. Who inspired you to become a teacher? Uh, definitely starts with my mom. Uh, she taught in Methuen for 36 years. She ran all these different programs in Methuen. And you can tell, like, she really, really loved teaching. She loved working with students. She taught seventh grade, which I think made her very brave. I like younger middle school and elementary, but she just always involved in the community, and I try to do that as well. And I used to chaperone some of her field trips. I used to help out. And then, um, a lot of her greatest attributes come from her teaching, help her become a good teacher, very kind, very patient, very caring, and that's something I tried to do as well. And once I started working with kids, I just got the bug. It just, nothing more rewarding than working with other kids and watching them grow, watching them challenge themselves and get better. Um, and I've been lucky to work with a lot of amazing teachers early in my career when I was being trained on how to be a teacher. What have your students taught you? Um, they've taught me how important it is to give students an opportunity to do something they like and to give them support or an opportunity to challenge themselves and support them along the way. And that's something I've always tried to do as a teacher, whether it's helping students be more creative, some of the math challenges we were talking about before. I know you love that card house challenge we used to do when you were one of my students, lucky me. And um, it's just amazing just to see the growth and the enthusiasm and like just being able to really challenge students for whatever the issue may be or whatever the uh, lesson or whatnot that I want them to grow or learn. It's really important to give them that opportunity, challenge them, set high expectations, and then just the level of satisfaction for both the students, the parents, and myself to say, I knew you can do it. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at you. Uh, that's one thing that students have taught me, just how important it is to give students the opportunity and then the support, and then it's amazing how much they surprise themselves. Mm -hmm. Thankful for here at the Tenny? Oh boy, well, as much as I love the students, and just I've had amazing students through the years, including the person right in front of me, um, the staff here is unbelievable. And I'm lucky to have worked in both the middle school and the elementary school, so I get to meet so many more amazing staff that are just inspiring as teachers, but also genuinely good people. I'll never forget how kind and caring and wonderful Mrs. Pardoan and Mrs. Peluso were. I was lucky to be their partners, as well as the entire fifth grade team. Um, and there are so many other teachers in the middle school. I mean, Mr. Patton for doing this. I remember all the help Mrs. Stogler gave me with ELA, Mrs. Gravel gave me in math. I remember just watching teachers like Mr. Folks and all the amazing things that he does with this band. I used to be in the band once upon a time and he just really goes above and beyond. Mrs. Folks on how she is always willing to help out the students and how much she cares about the students, but also the staff. I know she's been a big help for me as well. Uh, Mrs. Torner in sixth grade helped me a lot as a third grade teacher and I'll always appreciate that as well. Mr. Shields who's helped me both middle school and elementary school and he just, I don't know where he gets his energy, but it's amazing and I need some. Um, and then there's the elementary wing. I mean, the whole third grade team was very welcoming, was very um, 
very helpful because I was learning a lot. I had to teach. I did not teach reading in a long time, and it's a big transition from middle school math and science to elementary school doing everything. Uh, so Mrs. Godek, Mrs. Hogan, um, Mrs. Toner, who I mentioned, just a lot of wonderful expertise and support. And there are so many other teachers that go and beyond above and beyond talking so fast. There's so many people to fit in, uh, like <laughs> Mrs. Boschman, uh, with everything she does with the computer lab and the library, and just always being willing to help out to the PE teachers and their Halloween uh, I, bonanza. I don't know what to call it, the way they decorate that gym. It's just, I've met a lot of amazing teachers from a lot of different schools, but there are so many people in the Tenney that go above and beyond, and I just can't name them at all. So I apologize for all the people I did not mention or forgot to mention because there are just so many, but I am very lucky to be here at the Tenney because I've learned a lot. I've enjoyed all the kindness, all the support, and I like to think it's brought out the best in me because we do have an amazing school, including the students. <laughs> thank you for letting me interview you. My goodness, thank you for letting me be a part of this. I mean, it's great to be able to see you again behind the scenes, Matt. Ella and everybody else, so it's always fun seeing some of the uh, former middle school students. I miss you guys. I miss seeing you guys at this end of the wing, and I enjoyed hanging out. There's a lot of laughter behind the scenes, so stay tuned for the outtakes. Uh, I hope they're not too embarrassing for either one of us, but thank you for doing this, and big shout out to Mr. Patton for setting this up, because this is awesome. Thank so, you, Mr. Thank Patton. you very much, guys. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Knapp? My favorite thing about Mr. Knapp is he's helpful and he always tells me to believe the kids. Well, Ella, why do you appreciate Mr. Knapp? Um, I think he's really great and I appreciate him uh, because he not only teaches us a lot, but also we have a lot of fun doing it. Tell me something you most like about Mr. Knapp. I like that he's positive and he's super nice.